I didn't do my usual prep, but I think everything's working. I'm doing my best to, to sort of semi-automate bring preferences and setup. So I can truly just like open up OBS and just go live. Working on it. Go on Twitter. Oh no, no bow tie. Five minutes starts now. The room. I even go on Twitter and then I'm live. And ask her, just Discord. There's no bow tie, so you know what that means. Hope you're having a great day today. Hydrated, but yeah. Sadness, pain. Why are you sad and in pain? What happened? Depression. What happened, man? Are you related to Eminem? No, I'm not. Except Dr. Pepper. That's what Pattern is going through. Oh, is that what the whole Discord stuff was about? I've seen his messages. Yeah, it seems like he's going through it. Normally he would send those types of messages to me in my Twitch whispers, but now that he's finally joined the Discord, he's just letting it all out. I think, I think it's all about me not going live. Me not staying true to the schedule. And he keeps asking questions about like... But like, what was it? Like... Would you bang Dalda so he streams and then group worm whacking exercises with Dalda? He's he's definitely going through something. Yeah, hey, he's been begging all day for, like for the streams. Yeah, sorry man, just been doing stuff. Well, he's not here right now, but I apologize to the greater Dalda community. Just been doing some stuff. How have all of you been since last time? I make it sound like it's been like a decade since the last streamed. Like, whole lifetimes have passed. But how have you been, everyone in chat? Yeah, kind of like a whole decade. Almost forgot my handy dandy rag. Or a cloth, or whatever you want to call it. Chuggy Day was nice. Yeah, hope all of you had a lovely Thanksgiving. Mine was very nice. Food consumed, pounds gained. I did the first part, not the last. I eat a lot of food, but I can't seem to gain any weight. It's like nothing. I'm pretty sure there was one time where I, I ate a whole breakfast casserole by myself, and I'm pretty sure I lost two pounds. I don't know how that worked, but it did. Hopefully the food was enjoyable. Yes, yeah, so my body's just... I don't understand it. I still have, like... Eight plates of leftovers still in the fridge, Thanksgiving. And I've just been eating it at work. Well, what percentage of racism is allowed in here? 
all the way up to and including the funny percent. A funny percentage of racism is allowed here. What's up, Pattern? Speak the devil. Tell me I'm dreaming. You're dreaming. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You have that slave metabolism? It must be. There's no other explanation for it. Okay, I'm done. Oh, that was it? You just stopped right there? I mean, that was funny, so you, you stayed true to the funny percentage of racism. Dalla doesn't stream. Yeah, I'm not Daldemit, I'm Dalda's grandpa. Dalda's sleeping in his bed over there, so he asked me to take over. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving pattern. Read me a story, Grandpa. Okay. There once was a streamer named Daldemet, who never stayed true to his streaming schedule. It was very inconsistent. Left his community so confused and forever wondering when he would stream again. And then one day, he finally started streaming again. My motherfucking niggas. My nigga. My yeah. nigga. My nigga. My nigga. My nigga. The one bit pattern and the super hot fire bars. Thank you. I should practice my old man voice. I used to do one a long time ago when I was slightly interested in voice acting. I should I should practice. Or like have an old man voice. Uh, Billy, you talking about one of them space computers? That's the best old man voice you're gonna get. I was seriously leaning in onto my throat to make that sound. Solid should stop streaming and go full time editing videos for the Solid Mate guy. Thanks for the one, one bit of rem. I probably should, I'm really good at editing. And that Dollarman guy, he, he needs a lot of videos done. What unit did you, did you serve during the Vietnam War, Grandpa? The best unit. The unit that won the war. Oh no wait, we didn't win Vietnam. No, no, yeah, never mind. But it was still the best unit there. Thanksgiving was great, family doing good. How to have, have a lot of leftovers. Thanks again for the bit, Brandon, if I didn't say that, early, say that earlier. Hope all of yours was pleasant and nice. I, I definitely have some stories, like actual stories to share, I just don't, don't remember them. My Alzheimer's is ruining me. Luigi's nose is bigger than his tallywhacker. I mean, canonically, Luigi's penis has never been drawn, so we don't know his dick size. But sure, you can assume that. So as far as you know, Luigi doesn't have a penis. Did you guys do the tradition of watching all the stream speedrunning Mario Party 2 reruns with cum hot chocolate? Maybe some people did. Huh. Neat. Dollar, would you suck off Dr. Why? Pepper what do for permission to come up to you ten oh man, these questions are already back, nice. Ten million dollars untaxed cash. If Dr. Pepper consented to it, and then we had a lovely, you know, lobster dinner, lobster bisque. Sure, why not? 
At least the sub, Tony. If I ever see you in the wild, do I have permission to come up to you and grab your ass? Yeah, sure thing, Tony. I don't know how you're ever gonna find me in the wild when we probably don't live anywhere close to each other, but sure. You can do that. Thanks again for the sub, Tony. Marry me? You should probably like go on a date or two, Dr. Pepper, before we do that. You know, get to know each other, our likes and dislikes. I'm not going to look, but the universe has a way of making things happen. It truly does. Stranger things have happened. Just like that TV show name. It would be a miracle if it was actually untaxed. Because the, the government doesn't know unless you report it. They don't know about the $10 million. Unless you're dumb enough to say, oh yeah. I made $10 million, please take half of it. Consensual and ID check first, as per usual. Nice. Rem is all about that consent. Ah, eh, why not? I think I'm gonna step on the green space. Please tell me I'm not going to step on the green spec. I'm 8 years old, but live in Bangladesh, so we all good. Age of consent here is 6... 6 to 7 months. Oh, nice. So everything, everything is kosher then. I'm not sure if I can remember any specific stories. Bella's new vacation trip has been scheduled. <laughs> I'm not vacationing in Bangladesh. I have at least two other countries I want to go to. Well, that's why they don't give you 10 million, they loan you 10 million with a 0. 0.0001 interest rate. Oh, that's nice. He's like a benevolent mob boss, giving you a very low interest rate. The closest to just interesting thing I remember from the last couple of days was an Uber driver I had. Um, <laughs> his name was Bob, but his license plate said Rob. I'm not sure that was a coincidence. But his name was Bob, and the first three letters of the plate was R-O-B, Rob. Not sure if that means anything or like what, but that's just... What's in here? Because I know you can get custom license plates. Bob is a common nickname for Robert? Okay, I thought so. I knew there was some connection, I just couldn't tell. Yeah, Bob is short for Robert Silly. Yeah, I just didn't know. I smell fraud. How so? Also, fake story? That's not a fake story. I have a screenshot of it because I knew, like, oh, this might be an interesting, interesting thing to say to chat. Why would I just make that up? That's like the lamest fake story ever. I would say something with a bit more like... oomph to it, a bit more gusto. Adela, don't worry if they aren't above the age, just... Just like Uno, add two or four. <laughs> okay, good one. <laughs> Great game, Uno.
Like, if I wanted to come up with a fake story, I would have said something like... Instead of some, like, Uber driver nonsense, it would have been like... Oh, dude, ten... Ten car pile up... On the highway as I was going to... My parents' house. Ten cars, all... This giant mountain of cars. No, it's, it's not a short stream. I'm both streaming way too late and I have work tomorrow. Also, whenever I do a short stream pattern, I put it in the title. The European Australian... Dude, screw the European and Australian viewers. I tried getting them back in. I did a more appropriate stream schedule for them for a little while. None of them showed up. All those original European and Australian people, they left. It was like, okay. No longer I need to try to, like, appeal to them. Now, so I'm back on getting those American viewers now. I had an Uber driver, his name was Diamond, but her license plate was Obsidian. Nice. I don't know how you get the name of Diamond, but cool. Fuck the British. I mean, I've had one British viewer, she was kind of alright. But the rest of them, yes, yeah, screw them. Even though I'm in third grade, I have two children and a hot milf wife that I traded a goat for. Sounds like a good deal. Nice. I, I kind of miss the old system of barter and trading. Ever since fiat money was introduced to the idea of, of economy, it's ruined everything. We should just be bartering and trading things as usual. For those wondering, Dalda's new stream hours is... 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Monday, or whenever he decides to stream. Now I'm gonna be back on the old, old schedule, which is the American time. Like, um, evening-ish time for Americans. Going probably to midnight. That was the old, old schedule. So I'm planning on doing that. But you were close. Let's let's bring back the bartering system. Fuck paper currency and fiat money. Watch streak reach. CD Rem is currently on a three streak stream. What does that mean? You, you, you have that with fuck the ops. What is that? What do you do? What's it? What's a three stream streak? I bartered some fun dip and a spork for a Funko Pop once. Nice. See, no money needed. No stupid little pieces of things with dead people on it. Just straight up raw economics. I'll bring up, bring up the bartering system. Dollar it to the baker. I'll give you a blowjob for a muffin. That's not, that's not equal in, like, in value. I would say a... I would say a blowjob is probably worth more than a muffin. So, it's like... At that point, you just, you just trade food for food. That's more of equal value. Yeah, that's like something a homeless person would do in order like, to trade it for some like crack or heroin. And I most certainly don't do crack and or heroin. And I do own a home. Will you ice my cinnamon bun? Sure, why not? <laughs> Bring it on over. Come on over, Dr. Pepper. Door's open. Yeah, I still don't know, what's, what's a three stream streak? That must be a new Twitch feature that is completely pointless. Bella would suck the icing off your cinnamon bun. I wouldn't suck the icing. I eat a cinnamon bun normally like other people do. 
from the side, top down, to get both icing and the bun in one bite. Eat it like a normal person. Need to lick it. I don't lick the icing. Well, only like if it's on my fingers, and only after finishing the cinnamon bun do I lick it. I will donate all my icing. If there's any need to donate all of it, you can keep some for yourself. Oh, you fucker. That's not that bad. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to, you know, be greedy or anything. You can just keep some of the icing yourself. Ice is thin. You mean the icing is thin? Very much so. Actually, you know, in that regard, an icing can be exchanged for a muffin. Because those are, those are essentially two things of the same value. They're both baked goods. That's more, of so, that's more of how you would barter. I will barter my icing for a chance to touch your butt. That's definitely not equivalent. That, that's essentially like me prostituting myself out for baked goods. That would that'd actually make me like a hooker. Neat. Selling myself for just like a Dow the Woods, you drink a, a gallon of random dudes collected cum that is kept in a one gallon milk jug for one hundred billion dollars dollars and tax. Dollar would you drink a gallon, gallon of random sperm. dudes collected cum that is kept in a one gallon milk jug for a hundred billion dollars untaxed? You have to swallow the whole gallon of sperm. Does sperm taste like anything? Or is it just like Tasteless fluid. I can't imagine cum would taste like anything. But still, a whole gallon of it? Ew. Fucking, that's gross. <laughs> More for me, I guess. Uh. I don't know, maybe? I might do that. Thank you for the one bit pattern. Why does everyone keep taking my coins? What do I do? Four hundred billion? At for four hundred billion I'm I'm actually more inclined. That's a lot of money. If it's if it's colorless and tasteless, then yeah, maybe. Cause that's that's a lot of money. Oh, so close to saving more time. Two hundred billion untaxed for a bull sperm. Finish. I'm not drinking bull sperm, no. For some reason, that's like that's more not cool. One dollar, one gallon. <laughs> yeah, I just if, for some reason, and it's a bull sperm. It's I don't. It's wrong, or I don't like it. So no. Bull sperm gives you superpowers, I would guess. Super strength. Yeah, your guessing of it doesn't reassure me. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna take the chance on drinking a gallon of bull sperm just to possibly get super strength. And even so, that's a horrible prerequisite for super strength. Didn't Jack guess where you do that? They may have done that. They've done a lot of dumb stuff on their 
movies. I know they did a thing where they tr they were trying to fight back the the blowback from a fighter jet jet. And the entire time I was seeing that, I was thinking, wow, that is the fastest way to get cancer. Like, ever. They were just standing back right there behind a fighter jet as it was literally blowing hot radiation and fire in their face. Like, man, that is not worth the skin cancer. Yeah, and all of them are still alive. That's the weirdest part. One way to find out, one sexy bull, one Dr. Pepper, one night long. One long night. Yeah. Well, they did horse sperm. One died in a car crash. Yeah, but now I have skin cancer of a car crash. I've never seen a jackass movie, I just know they do a lot of dumb stuff. Zelda, would you whack your worm in front of a bunch of first grade- My god, this question again? It's been like weeks. I need back on that same question. We were almost on a good streak of original questions and need to go back to that one. Would you whack your worm in front of a bunch of first graders for $950 million untaxed cash? Yeah, only in Bangladesh. <laughs> that way it's not illegal. Uh, no, because yeah, it's not worth the whole, you know, being marked as a pedophile for the rest of my life. And I know so because that's, that's the same answer I keep telling you for all questions you ask me that are like that. I don't know why you keep asking that question. I was literally thinking about that, that actually, that today. I was looking at my list of all my stream ideas, and I saw that one, and I was thinking of, okay, let me work on this one, and do it on stream today. Then I got sidetracked doing a bunch of other nonsense. So I think I might actually do the face stuff for tier list. If not tomorrow, then at least the day after tomorrow. And that's a night, and that's a grandpa stream. You know, read the title. Does no one, when they come to a stream, read the title of the stream? Because, you know, streamers tend to put pertinent information in the stream title. Porn star tier list, pretty pleased with the cherry on top. I don't even know any porn stars, so I can't do one. Even if I did, I wouldn't do one, because that's just, that would be a weird, both stream idea and video. Like, I don't want that to go down in my legacy of, of content. Bella, what's the biggest cock you can suck? I don't know. I've never done it, and I've never thought about, like, how big I can take one. But as soon as I find out, Pattern, I'll let you know. Lies, all lies is not lies. Believe it or not, Dr. Pepper, there are some people out there who don't watch porn. Who use their precious free time on this planet for important stuff. For like, you know, it's, you know, worthwhile stuff instead of pornography. I know it's a crazy idea. It sounds absurd, but it's... All the wax off to his Mario Party 2 records. Yeah, the dwindling number of them that I do have. Thanks to... Ape... Dudin. Each and every day, I'm more confused about pattern sexuality. Now, he's definitely straight. 
I'm pretty sure he has a family, or... Or, like, kids or something. I remember him talking about his family status. Months ago. But now he's definitely straight. Why does this keep popping up? Yeah, yeah, he has a wife and kids. I mentioned before, Chad, how a majority of my audience are... are married fathers. Pattern. Face stuffer. Tay Tay. Girth. A lot of my viewers are, are married dads. You have hope, bro, don't worry. Dude, I know... Like, it, it may have seemed bad right now, but I will work and I know I will be married in the future and have kids. That is one goal of mine I will reach. Screw whatever, like, you know, world record stuff. You know, those will come and go. New kids come up to the scene, take the records, whatever. But I will have a wife and children someday. I know so. You think a cock that has the girth of a mini coke can could fit in your mouth? Definitely not. My mouth is definitely not that big. I will marry you. It's very nice of you, Dr. Pepper, but... One of the... Strict conditions for the person I marry is that they don't possess a penis. I know it's a very... Some people may see it as a very rude or like... Stingy requirement, but... I kind of need it for, uh, for my thing. Yeah, face up for his married. And are not above 250. Yeah. Not being fat. Well, I wouldn't say fat, but like... Maintaining a healthy weight would be nice. Dudley, can you imagine having a penis that is as round as it is long? So, six inch round and six inches long. I mean, I can, conceptually, but that sounds like a horrible type of penis to have. It would be a burden at that point. That would be unbearable. Could you even fit that in, like, inside of, of someone? Without them crying in pain and misery? Doesn't even sound possible. It sounds like someone who's, who's, who's been struck with elephantitis. You know that disease that makes your, like, ball sack inflate to, like, five times its size? It sounds like that disease. Also, Rem, do you know what that three stream streak thing is? What is that? Pop the pimple? Or pimple? Would you rather have a partner who was as ugly as a donkey as Donkey Kong, but could give you the best head? Or the prettiest partner that nibbles on your ear like a goblin? I guess I don't mind ear nibbling, although that sounds kind of weird. I guess I'll go with the pretty partner with the ear nibbling. A new Twitch feature? What does that do and or imply? What streak are you on? I knew it was a new feature because Twitch always adds nonsense to their platform. Dalda would, Dalda would you suck off CD-RAM for $300 because it's fucking CD-RAM the man? Uh, he stole my star again, man? Uh, yes I would. Yes. Thank you for the question. He gives you 350 dapper points. Oh, that's nice. Again, I don't know what this streak means, like streak of chatting, streak of watching the streams. 
I cool, hope you enjoy those dapper points. Ah, son of a... I don't like to wear my glasses when I'm doing the late night grandpa stream. And wow, they are foggy and see. Neat. May I nibble on your ear, Grandpa? Thanks for the 50 bits, Dr. Pepper. May I nibble on your ear, Grandpa? Yeah. I mean, you know, please is a word that also exists. Please. Thanks for the 50 billion bits, Tony. Thank you. I mean, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I don't know why I said Tony. Big love for the support, man. Thank you. I keep forgetting I'm the first one to go. I'm so not used to being first. Well, I'm not sure I'm gonna win this. I have zero stars, they all stole my shit. Actually, you know, speaking of weird shit, I just remembered another thing. Actually happened today. What was that work? As I was leaving the break room, when I was finishing my lunch to go back to my desk, I looked in, I, I looked into the trash where I threw my my trash at, and inside the trash there were, I found a box of Raycon earbuds. You know those earbuds you always see on those ads on like YouTuber on YouTube videos, the Raycon earbuds. I f that was the first time ever I saw a box. Of Raycon earbuds. Ready, I thought that, I thought this entire time they were like a myth. They might as well have not existed since I've only, only seen ads of them. I saw Raycon earbuds in real life. It was weird. Burn them? I mean, someone already has them. It was just a box. It was kind of surreal. Just like actually seeing those things. Like, who knew they actually existed? I considered buying them at one point, but just went with Apple. I'm pretty sure with Apple, they'll be more expensive. Because Apple likes to always overcharge for their products. Probably should have went with Raycon or like any other company. Oh, you got another deal? Well, hopefully it was a good deal. Because I'm always wary when people say they buy Apple products. Because it's most... M more times than not, it's a scam. Beats by Dre are affordable and they last longer than AirPods in my experience. I only- I know- I know they make headphones, I don't know they make earbuds. I know the- the- the headphones are super overcharged. Like it takes Dre like I think five dollars to make them. Make the headphones, but he charges just like way more. I drop my AirPods in water and they still work like new. Okay, nice. That sounds like something that would be worth the money. Oh, is this not gonna PB, man? I use an Android phone, phone though, fuck iPhones. Yeah, iPhones are terrible. 
I would actually think less of you if you had an iPhone. I dropped my newborn and it fucking died. <laughs> Yeah, that tends to happen, man. R.I.P. to the newborn. Ah, oh, no! oh, god damn it, it was so close. Do you believe in love after love? What's up, Blanco? Long time no see, man. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Hope all is well. Yeah, this run died at the very end like they always do, damn it. Oh, it's nice to know on the 18th turn I have a lot of time safe. Been a while, yeah. Hope you're doing well. Thanksgiving for me was meh. Oh, damn. Hope it wasn't too bad of a meh. Yeah, I'm doing alright. I got back to streaming, so that's good. I should still win this with two of the stars. I may get two stars. Actually, probably not. Fuck DK has a lot of stars. Yeah, I kind of wish I was a star, actually. Actually, I can only get every time like one star now. Fuck. This run is too volatile. Instead of big feasts like normal, parents just wanted to eat out and order food. It was just alright. Oh, they didn't, they didn't even cook anything. Oh, DK. Stop fucking me, man. That's certainly different. Tradition dictates that food is cooked in the home. Bye, Grandpa. I love you. Alright, see you, Dr. Pepper. Sweet dreams. I heard a lot of people did that this year. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. It's just that I've never done that, and it's just like it was like an assumed tradition that you cook food Thanksgiving. But yeah, some people do that either out of convenience or cost, or for like the scale of the celebration not meeting what's actually needed. As long as the food was good and you had a good time, that's all that matters. Yep, run actually died because nonsense. That's actually PB still. If I get lucky, this could PB, but I don't know if, I don't know if I'm gonna win. Screw I just waste time. I'll choke down that time loss to just at least I'll get the star. Minigame coaster? I have no idea. I haven't done minigame coaster in a long time. Oh, this cutscene takes way too long, I'm just not realizing. Fuck. Toad, shut the fuck up and move on, man. Okay, stop right there.
missed the coaster. I mean, it was nice. It just got way too per repetitive. Same. I mean, I like I like this one more since there's like there's more room to breathe, not just back to back mini game, mini game, mini game, and then always reset at abandoned ship. But apparently, Chad liked it, so fuck what I like. I'm just here to entertain the people. Keep all you happy. No, I fucking... That, that fucked it hard. Me getting that, me getting that one star may have just fucked the run. Oh. So zoomer. Ooh. Wait a minute. Are you fucking? That's another fucking video. I remember that one. Did I still put that in the playlist? I gotta stop doing that. Because uh, in order to combat that, I put videos as private and then put in the playlist. For some reason, I thought that affected the actual attention it would get. Like, it wouldn't get the same amount of views as a normal video would if I kept it unlisted and then made it public. Yeah, whatever. And this run, goddammit. Did they even actually win? <laughs> I didn't even win. I didn't win. Do Wordle. I haven't done that in a while. 